it's Chloe, what's up? So it is officially the new year 2016, yay! And I had a really great 2015. I got to do a lot of cool things and I got to wear a lot of pretty things. So I'm gonna tell you guys my top eight favorite looks from 2015. And this is in no particular order. So my first look is the dress I wore to Industry Dance Awards. It was the black and white striped dress with the pink shoes and I absolutely was obsessed with these shoes. They like laced up and they were like this snake crocodile skin. I don't know, it was really cool. But I loved this look and I liked my hair with it as well. So that was one of my favorites. My next fave is from the Nicole Miller Fashion Show during Fashion Week in New York City. I had these black shorts on and I had this leather top on and the front was all sparkles and it said like moi or something on the front and pink and then like pow or something. But it was really cute and I had these super adorable hot pink shoes on and those are one of my favorite shoes that I actually wore this year. You know, I don't always wear leather so it was kind of like outside of my box but you have to do that with fashion. You have to be willing to take chances. I think my next one is kind of a given. It was Teen Choice Awards. My outfit was, in my opinion, to die for. I loved this more than anything. I loved the little skirt, how it like flared out, and but then it was like kind of silky. It was this really cool fabric. And then my top, it like crossed up and was palm trees. And I thought it was perfect for the event because it was fun and summery. It was actually kind of funny because everyone thought that my outfit was a dress, but it was a skirt and a crop top. My shoes were actually two-tone. The front was kind of like a cream and then the back was a flesh pink. So it was funny because everyone thought that was one color as well, but it was two-tone. <laughs> and my shoes were $30 from Lulu, so it's kind of cool that I was at Teen Choice Awards and I was in shoes that any girl could afford. My next choice is from the Goosebumps premiere. I wore this orange dress that had these sleeves that went to here and they were like poofed up and they were absolutely adorable. And I wore these shoes that were white and they had these polka dots, like different colored polka dots all over them and they're bright colors. They look like candy. I also loved my hair. It was like a messy fishtail over to one side and then I had like curls coming down and I love that look. I always try to accomplish it on my own but it doesn't really work out. It just looks like a a braid that someone did try to do messy. My next fave was the gold and silver Disney ball. I had a gown on, it was strapless, and it was all sparkly right here, and it was tight, and then there was a belt, and then it flowed down into like a pretty fluffiness. <laughs> I felt like a princess in it, well, kind of obviously, because it was the Disney ball. And I had this purse that there was a mirror on the front, and on the top it said, Mirror, mirror in my hand, who is the fairest in the land. Isn't that so cute? And I sort of got to wear a tiara. It was a headband, and my hair was braided here, and I put the headband right there, but the way it was, it looked like a crown, so I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> like, um, this is awesome. My next look is the not scary farm event. I had overalls on, just like a white shirt underneath, and then I had these brown high heel boots on. And I had a flannel tied around my waist, which by the way was actually, I borrowed it from Ricky. It was comfy, which I like, because sometimes I'm not always comfy. I do think my dad mentioned that I looked like a farmer, but <laughs> I thought it was really cute. I felt confident in my casual outfit. <laughs> Another look I liked was the outfit I wore to Tyler Oakley service premiere. It was a purple top, and a pink skirt but on the side of the skirt it had a like a black kind of fabric and the bottom flared out. It was asymmetrical which I think was kind of in the season so I felt cool and stylish. My makeup was kind of like smoky and I had a little bit of a black wing going and my hair was rock and roll so I felt a little edgy that night and I had a leather jacket on as well. I didn't have it on during the carpet pictures but I had it on afterwards. And my final outfit fave of 2015 was the outfit I wore to the, my OK Magazine interview. I had on black Brandy Melville pants and they were super comfy because they were stretchy so I like when my pants are stretchy so I can do like dancing everywhere. And my top was a sheer top from BCBG. It was floral and it like tied up here and then it went down and I wore a black bra underneath. My shoes were really cool. They had sort of a, like a platform and then the heels were thick. They were black and white polka dots and the strap went around. They kind of hurt. But beauty is pain, my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the comment section below, tell me what your favorite look of mine was that they didn't talk about. And I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!